In 2017, when I was just 11 years old, my teacher gave us a project to design a game on Scratch. You know that website where you can build little programs by dragging blocks around? And I had just two weeks for the project. Most people built simple games like Tic-Tac-Toe or Connect 4, but I wasn't gonna make it easy for myself. I had it all planned out in my head. I'm gonna set up a war game where you can buy troops and you can plant those troops so that they can shoot at the enemies and you can buy more troops with coins. But of course, me being a complete dimwit, I spent two weeks designing the graphics. When the assignment was due, I didn't hand in a game, I handed in pictures. Look at the picture I drew. The mistake I made was that I was barely a level one programmer trying to make a level seven program in Scratch in just two weeks. So obviously I completely failed. So in this video, you'll find out what level programmer you are so you don't make the same mistakes. Level zero, Scratch. Just because you drag blocks around on a screen doesn't make you a programmer. Nobody will take you seriously, you can't get a job from it, and nobody will come to your funeral when you die. This also applies to people who use Wix to design a website and then they put web developer on their CV. You're not a web developer, you're an idiot. These websites are designed for people who can't code. If you can't code, you're not a programmer. This is why you're level zero and not level one. Level one web design. Most people start out here. You realize that when you put .html at the end of a file name and then open the file, you get a web page. So you go on YouTube and you find an Indian man to explain HTML and CSS to you for the next 10 hours. Congratulations, you're now a programmer. But remember, you're only at level one. At this stage, you probably still have a social life, girls still speak to you, and you don't smell. But don't worry, all of that is about to change. Level two. Beginner. Eventually, you'll get bored of designing basic websites and you'll want to make them actually do something, like perform some calculations or play a game. So you go back on YouTube and you stare at the same Indian man's face for another 10 hours while he teaches you JavaScript or Python. This was my favorite level. I was only 14 at the time, but at this level, I would stay up all night just to code. It felt like I had a superpower, like I could code anything that came to my imagination. I was on top of the world. But if you're on this level, you're actually on what's called the peak of Mount Stupid. Because of the Dunning-Kruger effect, when you've just learned the basics of something, you think you know it all. Level three, game developer. While you think you know it all, all you can really code is a glorified website. I don't care how fancy it looks or how interactive it is, it's still a website. And the best way to start coding actual applications is by using a game engine like Unreal or Unity. At this point, you'll be introduced to object-oriented programming and you'll either love it or hate it. I hated it. It threw out everything I knew about programs and it created them in a paradigm which just made no sense to me. It was like going from being an expert programmer then right back to the basics in just one day. Many people quit here. They're happy to say that they can code a website and leave it at that. These people still have a chance of reintegrating with normal society and still having a normal life but some people will press on to level four. Level four, real programming. At this point, the training wheels are off and you can now program an actual application without needing a game engine or a YouTube tutorial. You've likely gone to university to study computer science and now things are gonna get real. Instead of listening to a YouTube tutorial, you have to read documentation. You probably have GitHub and Stack Overflow bookmarked on your browser and heaven forbid, you're now using Linux. It's been around three months since you've spoken to a female and if you smell your armpit, Yep, you fit the stereotype. Level five, professional programmer. So you finished your university degree and you finally landed a job as a programmer. All those years spent in front of the screen have finally paid off and maybe your parents aren't so ashamed to have you around anymore. You're in some team working on a large project and you're probably earning a fair bit of cash. You're no longer a weird kid who stays up all night building a calculator app for no reason. You actually have a purpose. You're an important member of society. 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 Level six. Ah! No, screw that. You're now up at 4 a.m. grinding leak code or code forces problems until your arms fall off. You join some tournaments with people where you each compete to see who's the biggest, fattest, greasiest nerd on planet Earth. You no longer care about solving real world problems or even the real world for that matter. All you care about is Optimus Prime. All you care about is optimization. Programming is not a skill anymore. It's an addiction. And just like a drug, you need it to even feel normal again. Level seven, elite coder. You are now a world-class programmer. You exude a potent, unholy musk, a complex blend of energy drink sweat and three days old pizza grease. Rumor has it, this aroma keeps the bugs out of your code. Your diet consists of mainly energy drinks and Cheetos, which leaves a distinct orange hue on both your fingers and your keyboard, forming a protective coding crust. You can't remember the last time you've seen a woman in real life and you're starting to think that maybe they were just a conspiracy invented by non-coders to get you to stop coding. If you want to see the behind the scenes of how I make these videos, hit the join button down below or you can hit this video if you want to see more. No, you hang up.
you hang up. No, you hang up. All right, piss off now.